This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Andrew Knowles. Club Med officials say the multi-million dollar redevelopment of its San Salvador property is significant as it will reposition the resort as its flagship of premier properties around the world. Meanwhile, developers behind the expansion, Sand and Ocean Limited, says key to its development is an involvement of Bahamian resources, both people and materials. We are committed to providing training and growth and increasing employment potential for local people. The project has a long-term focus which matches our own. We are not interested in making quick returns and leaving this beautiful country. We are here for the long term and we have pledged to be here for the duration. There's a new chairman of the Bahamas Financial Services Board. Prince Ramming, Territory Senior Partner Price Waterhouse Coopers, was elected chairman of the private sector-led organization that represents and promotes all sectors of the country's broad-ranging financial services industry. He was elected during the Board of Directors meeting last week. He replaces Paul Winder. BFSB's CEO and Executive Director Aliyah Allen says Ramming's expertise and leadership skills will be of tremendous value to BFSB and the industry. The board also elected C. James Schaefer and Timothy Kulkloff as co-deputy chairs. And in international business news, fast food vendor Burger King has reported higher profits as sales increased outside the U.S. The U.S. restaurant chain said its better-than-expected profits for July to September period of this year were due to cost reductions and more franchising. Burger King's net profit rose to $68.2 million. However, sales at its North American branches fell 0.3%. This has been your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Andrew Knowles.